need a little bone, but it's Tuesday. It is like almost 7 a.m. I got up around 5.30. She actually had a really good night's sleep last night. We actually went to Flagstaff over this last weekend, so I'll insert some footage here. Yeah, it was super cute, super fun. She definitely was like pretty fussy. I feel like everyone thinks she's just like the happy baby all the time. And maybe that's my fault for not showing like the harder moments. I try to, but I also don't want to just like blast my baby on the internet like crying. <laughs> But that is the reality, is that she gets fussy sometimes. Evenings are hard before she goes down for bed. She's like a little more fussy, but I just wanted to throw in there that I don't know if it's the elevation or what, but her sleep in Flagstaff was insane. The first night she woke up, you know, put her down at like nine. She woke up at 2.30 and then slept until seven when I, or seven or 7.30 when I got her up. And then the second night she slept from like 8.39 to 4.30 in the morning, which is crazy. It's really unfortunate because I didn't sleep like at all. <laughs> I told Sean, I was like, damn, I want to redo because that could have been so nice, but yeah, no, she slept really good last night and it was 4th of July, so I was really nervous about fireworks waking her up, the dogs being anxious waking her up. I don't know, I was just a little, I was a little anxious about how that was gonna go down, but she did great. We did what everyone says to do, just turned her sound machine up a couple clicks and it was great. <laughs> good morning, sweet girl. Is that so cool? Look at you, strong girl. Ooh. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> So strong. There you go. Good job. She cried the whole way here. I stopped four times. Yeah. And then she slept the whole time she was there in a little swing that they have. They said she was great. I get her out, get her in the car seat, she's smiling, she's happy. We walk outside and she starts crying. I bring her to the car, she's still crying. So I fed her, which I fed her before we went in like an hour ago. She's content. But now I'm a little anxious to drive home. So we're just snuggling in the mountainside parking lot. And I'm, I'm okay. 
happy with it. She's happy. Okay, it is like four o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, that journey, the experience of going to the gym today was awful. I'm glad she slept while we were there and that I got to get a good workout in. But it's like, it's like days like today in the car makes me feel like I just never want to, tr to go anywhere with her again. I'm just like, me getting a 40 minute workout in and like getting a coffee is not worth like the emotional turmoil I put her through. It feels like I'm torturing her when she is like crying like that in the back seat. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it is awful. It sucks. And people say like, oh, she'll grow out of hating the car. And I'm just like, when? When? I want to take my baby everywhere. I want to go do all kinds of fun stuff with her. I want to like, as she grows, like, even now, like I want to take her with me and go places and get out of the house for me and for her sake. And it's just like the driving alone experience with her right now sucks. I literally p stopped and pulled my car over four times on the way to the gym and twice on the way back. And the last like seven minutes, which I know was not a long time, but it felt like an eternity. The last seven minutes of our car ride home, she was just screaming bloody murder. And I don't know, <sighs> it is frustrating. But maybe some good news. I just now decided to try something new. So my sweet sister-in-law, Nikki, bought us uh, like the Baby Merlin's magic sleep suit. I, I've seen it around and I remember her talking about this with her youngest and how it was like magical. He slept 12 hours when he was like four or five, six months old and that it was just like the best thing that ever happened. It's supposed to be very like snuggy and soft and comforting and like compression-y. So I'm trying it right now for her nap. And usually, especially for like her afternoon nap, I have to, and especially on a day like today where she was like crying and like worked up when I went to take her to do her nap. Normally I have to like rock her to sleep, shush her, put her passy in like seven times while I'm holding her cause she's spitting it out cause she's like mad or distracted, but literally put the suit on her, picked her up, and like 20 seconds later, she was like ready for a pacifier, didn't spit it out, and just like instantly started drifting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a little shook. <laughs> so I don't wanna think that means everything and this'll be like the magic solution, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hopeful that this is like, kind of a turning point in her sleep. I would love for that to happen because her sleep at night honestly has been so inconsistent for like the last two weeks. I know two weeks is like nothing in the grand scheme of things, but man, two weeks of really poor sleep for her and for me at night, with the exception of like a good night, you know, every now and then is hard, so. So we'll see it. Like I said, she went down right at four, normally in her bassinet during the day for naps, 30 minutes max is like where she caps out for wanting to nap, not in my arms during the day. So we'll see, might still be 30 minutes, hopefully longer. <laughs> we'll see. Actually a minute past when she usually wakes up. So you know what, <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see how long it goes. I cut up an apple for me and Sean to share. It's been our new nighttime routine so that we make sure we 
actually get to talk to each other and see each other and it's become like one of our favorite parts of the day and then i'm going to bed so good night see you in the morning to bring my camera up but I forgot my friend Rachel gave us this box of like toys and bath toys and one of those like water play mats for tummy time which we're definitely gonna crack into. What is that? Are you playing with toys? <laughs> Let's see if it makes her mad. <laughs> this is our setup. Is it cool? Let me try this again. <laughs> the last time I picked up the camera, I just was very emotional. <sighs> and I just, honestly, I just started the day feeling kind of defeated because last night was so hard. I got like super motivated and I was like, no, today is not gonna beat me. I decided against giving up for the day, even though I really would just like to do nothing to be honest I would just like to sleep <laughs> and I was determined like we're gonna get in the car we're gonna go somewhere I this, this is the third day I haven't left my house <laughs> in a row so I was like we're gonna get out and go somewhere even if it's just to get coffee like we're gonna make it happen and I took my finally happy content baby and I put her in her car seat and she just started crying and then I started crying <laughs> a lot and I kind of just never stopped crying after that like on and off um, I'm lucky I have really supportive friends who are moms and they were like you know I'm trying not to cry right now I'm still emotional they were like you know no one talks about this I thought I was done okay we're good we're good they're like, you know, no one talks about this in a real way. You hear like the extreme of like postpartum depression and like terrible things that that can bring on. Um, but you don't hear about just like the normal, real struggle. Oh, sorry. I know I've said it like a million times, but I watch so much YouTube and uh, 
I follow so many moms and there's only one that talks about like really how hard it is but she struggles with like anxiety and depression so part of me is like is that what this is or is this just normal and like most women don't talk about it because like they're scared of being judged because that's definitely where I feel like I come from sorry oh my god I really thought I was done crying okay we're good I'm just going to talk about my feelings without crying or am I because I'm a cancer actually the day that I'm posting this it's my birthday so happy cancer season but I really start to question myself because I just you don't hear about like the normal highs and lows everyone talks about how hard it is but that's kind of where the conversation like ends they tell you you're gonna be so tired and like until you are truly sleep deprived like you don't know what that means <laughs> or like I've been sleep deprived in the past for like a day or two and I'm not caring for a newborn I'm not caring for my child while being sleep deprived like it's just a totally different game and honestly I just feel like this week won like I feel like this week was a fail Tuesday I went to the gym and that was really hard and then I literally just didn't leave my house since so sorry my cats are going crazy there's empty boxes um yeah I just feel like I kind of gave up this week which I know is okay and I know what's gonna happen I'm so distracted by my cats but I just um there's no way I can do these like weekly videos and not show you the struggle because there's struggle in every single week and my friends are like, you know, you're in the thick of it right now. Like, trust me, it gets better. It's the first three months are really hard. And I am learning that that is very true. So I didn't want to end this video like this, but she just has been so much and that's another thing is I feel like everyone shows like the highlight reel the happy baby and like I get it I said earlier like I don't want to put my baby on blast on the internet just like crying and just like this past four ish days or so it's like I can't transition her from one place or one activity to another without her getting really worked up can't catch her breath kind of crying like really worked up not just like fussy and like cranky it's like it seems like something is really wrong and to not be able to like pinpoint that or be able to just like soothe her instantly is so trying and i feel like all the babies you see on the internet are just these like dream babies and oh he's a dream baby she's a dream baby he doesn't even cry she sleeps so great blah 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 and it's like that's great for you guys but but there needs to be some representation for babies who are a little more fussy and emotional and whether it's a growth spurt or a leap or whatever you want to call it like like some babies just go through stuff like this i'm experiencing that firsthand obviously and i'm sure i'll get on the other side of it when things kind of level out and i don't even know what i'm trying to say i'm so lucky and i'm so grateful for her and for the life that i have but that it's okay to let you struggle and have really hard days and it's normal and i'm sure it's gonna happen a lot more and this is just a phase of life so uh, sorry if this is like depressing or if you're my family you don't need to worry about me i'm fine <laughs> it's just hard but okay <sighs> i just need to get that off my chest i feel like this is becoming my place to like vent so if it seems like i'm only complaining sometimes that sucks and that's not what i want this to be but if future moms or current moms are watching this i want it to be 
real and like relatable because this is the reality for probably a lot of moms, at least all the ones that I've talked to, all of my friends say this is a very common, normal experience. So hopefully someone out there feels a little less alone and a little more heard because I feel you and it is so hard. But like I said, I am so done with this week. I want to go enjoy my Friday and relax and eat some dinner. And I have a birthday brunch tomorrow that I'm really excited about with a lot of my family. So I'm looking forward to this weekend, getting a little bit of a break, having help with Sean and my mom. Yeah, sorry, I know this last clip and probably this whole video is like all over the place. I'm trying my best, but it feels so weird to say like, if you like this content, subscribe because I'm just crying in my baby's nursery about being a mom <laughs> but for my birthday like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already i post every monday now so i will see you monday bye